Hello, 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 everyone. This is Brenda Douglas, and I am so excited about what I have to share with you. I'm sorry, Happy New Year. I hope that you are ready for 2022. Look what came in the mail. And yes, I have a flag because I want to show you the different sections, but every year, I get myself a planner. Now, I know some of you are probably like, well, Brenda, you have a planner in your cell phone and you are absolutely right, I do. But the problem is I have several different um, emails linked to my cell phone. So, and I hate to miss an engagement, guys. I hate it. I hate to, when I say I'm going to call someone and then I forget, right? So I am very much a hard copy person. I need to write it down. I need to see it right in front of me. Now this year, this is the um, legend planner, right? Now I was looking for a specific planner, right? I wanted to see the month at a glance, and then I wanted to be able to plan out my week. A lot of planners have it so that they have all of the months in the front, and then the 52 weeks following the 12 months. Well, I didn't want that layout. I wanted to have one month at a glance. And then behind that one month, I wanted the weeks to be laid out. Okay. So I was searching and searching. I have ordered a legend planner before, but it did not have this layout guys. And um, it did not have this layout. So I was looking for it. And I think that for this one, what I've learned is that you have to order the one that specifically says weekly planner. Okay. And it this will help you plan for the entire year because some planners only allow you to plan or only have enough content or space, I should say, for three months. So you want to check that. This one is also undated. And I have it undated because, you know, sometimes I get busy and I don't write in it, but I want to be able to pick it up and pick off where I left or pick up where. I want us to be able to pick it up where I left off, okay, or the next day or wherever day I'm in, right? <laughs> I hope that made sense. Anyway, so this is the Legend Planner, and I am so excited that it has come. So we're going to, I'm going to let you know um, what's inside. First of all, it comes with this handy dandy strap for you to close it. And I love that because sometimes I put papers inside, just like it came with the piece of paper, paper um, inside telling you how you can, um, with the quick guide, telling you, giving you some ideas on what to do. So it came with that. So my point is that with this little strap, I can strap it and kind of lock it into position. So when I have paper, sometimes I can do this very same thing, lock it into position and the paper won't um, leave. It also has bookmarkers, excuse me, it has three bookmarkers, a pink one, a turquoise and a purple one. And I love that because um, again, it can well hold my place wherever I want to um, put this in terms of remembering where I left off. I can use these um, to keep my place, okay? So, and I could have used it instead of these post-it notes, but there's so many sections in this planner. So here we go. This planner also comes with a, I don't know if you can see it, but an ink pen holder. There it is right there. Comes with the ink pen holder. Uh, for those of you who are just joining, it does not come with these flags. I put it there for you to see the sections, but they do come with, it does come also come with stickers. And I love that. Not only does this planner come with stickers, but I also ordered a, a pack of like over a thousand stickers to be included. So when I'm planning, I can kind of have fun with it and then play with the stickers. So what, what happened was there's a snowstorm. Well, what do they call it? A thunder snow, right? So um, the mail person didn't come and deliver. Hmm, I couldn't get in it into the area so anyway and i also purchased some tabs um i don't know if you can see it but this is a tab for each month um because this planner does not have the months excuse me tabbed out okay so let's look inside the legend planner which i love by the way i'm so excited okay so of course here i can put my information 
as I hope that you guys can see, I can put my information about who I am in case they get lost. I always, always put my name and I always put my email address of nothing else for people to get in touch with me in the event that they find my planner, right? Um, so it starts off with a section for you to put in your, um, your awareness and self-discovery. So there are some questions where you can, oh, this is really terrible. Where you can't see it, some questions where you can answer. Um, and the questions are stuff like, what brings me joy and good feelings in my life? What would I do if money was not an issue? What is the most important? Um, what is most important in my life? Or what are my core values? And I do take the time to, oh, you can see it a little bit that time. I do take the time to answer these questions. What does a perfect day look like to me? I do take the time to answer these self-discovery questions and self-awareness questions. I think that we're always involving and we change, you know what I mean? We, what, what our likes change, who we are, we're always evolving. That's why I do take the time to answer those questions. In this section here, you can see, um, you saw the look, okay, there we go my list of dreams, things that I want right here. And I do try to make it all the way down to 50, whether I believe I can accomplish the goal or not. I still fill this out all the way and I try to make it all the way to 50, okay? The other thing is that, um, and what I do with this list of my dreams is I um, write them all down. And then I understand though, that I may not be able to accomplish them all. And that's good. That's fine, I should say. But what I do do is constantly look at this list and I ask myself, what have you achieved and what do you need to work on and which one can you reasonably and realistically do or accomplish right now? OK, and then I work on that. OK, the other thing is that I don't know if you can see this graph over here, but this is a graph of life goals. Let me see. OK, life goals right here. Graph of life goals. And um, it says my life goes. And then all around the outside, there are um, the different areas of your life, okay? Health and fitness, career and business, finance, family and friends, spiritual fun and recreation and hobbies and personal development. And yes, I make sure that I am um, working on each one of these areas in my life so that I can grow as a well-rounded person, okay? Two of the major ones for me right now would be hobbies because it is the winter time and I don't like the winter time. So I always try to find a new hobby to challenge myself to take part in. For this year, it is cooking. And then also, um, and I don't mean cooking, just popping it in the microwave or in the oven. I want to be able to make things, um, casseroles and things of that nature. Uh, fresh vegetables, things of that nature, okay? So I just want to try out some new recipes. The other thing is business. Um, right now, I am, um, I just renewed my real estate license. And so, but this time I want to focus on commercial real estate, okay? So I'm going to try a new avenue. So that will really be something that I will be working on. And then finance is always something. Finance, along with finance, I would also put credit. But anyway, finance is something that I definitely would always, always, um, I think you should always be working on that round stop. Okay, relationships. The, in terms of relationships, it says romance and relationships. I'm not really concerned about the romance, but the relationship itself, being able to network because I am going to be in commercial. I want to be able to network and connect with business-minded people. So that would be a goal in terms of personal development. I don't like wearing suits. <laughs> so for me right now, that, that that may seem small, but for me, that's going to be a big, big thing. Personal development and the way I think and the way I um, set goals, my habits need to be evaluated. And so there are um, things that I can do within each of these areas, health and fitness, um, the cooking, the being able to Eat healthy is another one. Fitness, of course, you can see <laughs> that girl, your old girl needs to lose some weight. So those are some life goals that I will be putting down. And then this is a vision board. And I love, love, love doing vision boards. It also changes. I don't know if you can see it, but it's simply a two of 
full page blank sheet, right? Both sheets, two sheets blank. So what I would do here is I would use the entire board and create my vision board. And what I'd like to do is I love to find a magazine and cut out actual pictures of goals and of dreams um, that I have, um, that I want to achieve, or just to put my mind in a different space. You know what I mean? Like for example, a, a beach home, um, a home up in the uh, mountains, um, up in the woods. In this, I used to want to um, own a place in the ski lodge, you know? So though, and I wanted to also, I want to also have seasonal tickets to games, to football games. So those are things that I would put here on my vision board. Again, it may not be something that's tangible right now, but if I could see it, you know what I mean? It's motivation for me. It's motivation for me to keep going. And so I will definitely use this um, I will definitely use this. I wish I could show it to you guys, but anyway, so I, this will definitely get used. Okay, so moving right along. So then you have your goals and what they do is take each section and um, allow you to space to be able to plan those goals um, into three small uh, uh, action items, okay? So the next session again is going, is action steps for, is action steps for the goals. Okay, so that's allowing you to make those plans for those goals. Then it goes into your strategy. You know, what is your strategy? Um, the skills and habits that you need to learn in order to achieve those goals. So this is more planning. How are you going to achieve those goals? Okay, what negative people do you need to avoid? What positive people do you need to spend more time um, with? What are you grateful for? What are your daily rituals? You know, our habits determine how far we go and where we go. But again, this is, um, so it is important to be able to answer those questions and I definitely will, okay? So then we have the month at a glance. And this is actually the reason why I purchased this planner, the month at, the at a glance in the beginning, okay? The things that I will do to make this month great, what are my most important goals this month? Sorry guys, the banner fell off. So the month at a glance, and I love this. I don't know if you can see it. Oh goodness. Okay, and what I love about this is my quick appointments. I will write it here, doctor's appointments, personal business appointments, who I need to call back. I will write it here or I would write it all here, right? Which is a list, I don't know if you can see it lists and notes and of things to do. And that's why I love to see it at a glance. And then I love to go into detail. I don't know if you can see. Guys, this camera is the worst. Okay, so this next page right behind the month at a glance, um, it breaks down the weeks, okay? And again, this is not a dated planner. I don't know if you notice, it is not, it is undated is what they called it, undated. So I would just write in the numbers. Okay, so I wanted the month at a glance and then I wanted each week broken down, okay, for me to plan even further. Okay, what calls do I need to make? What are my main goals this week? What are my habits that I'm tracking? I don't know if you can see it, okay, so the habit tracker. And then here's my to-do list. Um, so this would probably, this is Monday through Sunday. So I will plan this one week, this two weeks. So you would plan the week again. I wanted the month at the beginning and then each week broken down. And that is specifically why I order this planner. And at the end of all of those weeks, you have an area where you, you can reflect on what happened during that month. You know, did you accomplish your goals? Okay, on a scale of one to 10, how did you feel about the progress of the month? So it's a time to reflect on what happened. And then here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to position it, guys, so you can see it. Here is pretty much a, a dots, uh, a page with dots for you to graft out or for you to write out um, your ideas and your notes of the month, of what happened during that month, okay? Or you can use it to 
um, write down what you did not achieve and what needs to be carried on to the next month. So what I, the other thing that I love about this planner is you cannot see it, but each month is a different color. Okay, so the first one was green, then you have blue, then you have pink. So each month you have, a, that's a different shade of green. This is like an evergreen. So the point is that you have each month, you have a different shade in which you can work on. And that's how you know purple, then you know you're moving into a different month and so on and so forth. So guys, I am really, really excited about this plan. And by the way, this planner is a pink. I think this one, I don't think this one is a, I know it's not a rose gold. I don't remember the exact color. I'll put it in the description. Oh, nope, I do. It is a hot pink gold foil. So if you can see, it has like gold foil in it. Um, and it is a hot pink from what it says here. Okay. And let's see, let me read this. It includes uh, ways that you can get organized. You can track your habits, improve your work-life balance. It has a full year undated planner is what it is. Um, it has five weeks that follow each calendar. Um, it has a unique color scheme for each month. The paper, the weight of the paper is 80 pounds, is 20 GSM. And that is important because when you start using your markers and things of that nature, your, cut, your crayons, I'm um, not your crayons, your color pencils and things of that nature, if the GSM is too light, it will bleed in onto the next paper, okay? And your ink pens as well. So this one is a 120 GSM, which is pretty good. So it's bleed resistant. Um, so, and it's 80 pounds thick, the paper is. It also allows you to do life goals for the year, quarterly goals break down, vision board and life and dreams, and self-discovery and awareness. And again, my planner is a hot pink, will go foil. Okay, guys, so I am so ready to use this baby. And again, it also came with stickers. It has a ink pen holder and I forgot to show you that it also has a pocket in the back. Okay, no hassle refund, cool. Okay. So it has a pocket for me to add things in the back, which is going to be perfect for business cards and things of that nature. So guys, and again, it does not have these little tablet things, though I'm getting ready to put in my monthly stickers that I ordered separately from a different company. So those are also color coded. <laughs> so guys, I am so, so excited. Again, this is the, oops, yeah, Legend Planner. I don't know if you can see it. And this is a hot pink with gold foil. They have a variety of different colors. This one I love. I love the pinks because it makes me feel girly. And yet at the same time, it makes me feel large and in charge. I shouldn't say large, but anyway, it makes me feel good. But anyway, guys, um, I hope um, that this helps and this on the front, in case you can't see, is a big clock. Well, you can see the with Roman numbers, Roman numbers, because I think that makes a difference. Some of them are too out there for me in terms of the design. So I do pay attention to that as well. Anyway, guys, I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, I'm about to take these little ugly posters off. <laughs> I just put them up there for you to, for me to tell you what the different sections are. But anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments. If you, you have a planner that you enjoy, um, go ahead and leave it in the comments, guys. It is actually, you need to go ahead and get your planner because it is already January. And we need to be planning and reaching our goals right now. And I'm taking a training on that commercial real estate. So, you know, I need to be writing one of my webinars. I mean, one of my, um, yeah, one of my webinars, one of my training dates. So all of that is getting ready to go in right now. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Again, this is the Legend Planner. I'm going to put information in the um, comments. I got it from Amazon. And I think I want to say that I paid between 27 and 38. Um, 
I, don't, I can't quite remember how much I paid, but I will put it in the comments, okay? I mean, I'm sorry, not in the comments. I will put it in the description. And I will also put the Amazon link so that you can get one as well. Like I said, this comes in all different colors off the top of my hand, black, purple, um, I can't, this, this pink, and then there's a, a rose gold pink. I'm sorry, rose pink. What is it called? Rose gold pink. What is it? The light powder pink one. I don't remember what it's called. But anyway, they have different colors that you can get this agenda in. I'm going to put, again, the link, the Amazon link in the description of this video. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And let's get ready, because remember, if you plan to fail, you fail to, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If, again, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And we are not going to fail. I'm not going to fail. So either use your planner, hard copy planner that I love to carry around, or you get that cell phone and use that calendar with those. Because I also use my reminders on my phone so that it pops up or it dings my timer to let me know when I need to do something. And then, like I said, it also comes with a quick guide to give you ideas on what to do in each one of the sections. So again, guys, I'm going to put the... Um, link to this planner in the description. I love it so far. I'm so excited about getting started. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful 2022. Oh, but wait, there's more. Guys, let me tell you, I did the first part of this video earlier today. And um, remember, I had mentioned that I ordered this planner and as you can see, the monthly tabs are all there, good to go. But I also ordered some stickers. But because it has been snowing here, um, it was delayed a few days, okay? So guess what? It finally came. And I am so excited. My desire is to set the planner up like a scrapbook um, so that I can kind of enjoy the journey and have fun with it. So... So anyway, I just took it out of the plastic. It comes um, with a an envelope. I paid less than $10 for these stickers. I want to say less than eight, probably. Anyway, these stickers, as you can see, come 38 sheets and over a thousand stickers. And again, I want to be able to set my um, planner up like a scrapbook. So I wanted to order some additional stickers and I'm going to get some more, but this is going to get me started. And these are some of the stickers. I got these stickers from Amazon. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I got them from Amazon. See, I love it. I got them from Amazon. They're all different types, all different colors. And so I am just going to um, have fun with this. And again, I just want to treat it like a scrapbook. I've already found some more um, stickers that I want to order. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Guys, I have a, um, my camera is, um, what is it called? Um, I forget, but it adjusts adjustable, what is it called? Autofocus is what it's called, right? So my cameras may look blurry whenever I move, but that's autofocus for you. So I'm going to have to get a, my next camera and not have one. But anyway, these are the stickers, some of the stickers that um, came, <clears throat> excuse me, that came today. And then I have this, like I said, this envelope to put the stickers back in. Overall, I love the variety of the stickers that was actually the goal to find a package that had not only motivational, um, not only motivational sayings, but I also wanted, um, I also wanted, you know, fun stickers with little reminder things so that I can really, really enjoy um, creating my scrapbook planner. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, that was upside down. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am going to that looks real blurry. There we go. I am going to put um, uh, the link to the stickers in the, um, I love this, happy thoughts. I'm going to, because, you know, happiness is a choice. So I'm going to put the link 
to these stickers in the uh, description. I'm going to put the link to these stickers in the description. You know what I really, really love? I love, look at that in here, please. I love, love, love the fact that it came with an envelope because that means I can just put the stickers oh, you can see, in the envelope. Please let it fit on my video, please. Ta-da! So I love that because it makes it easy for storage. But anyway, guys, I am going to put the link to these stickers um, in the description. And I am going to really, really have fun with my journal. So I will be doing that tomorrow. Really dolling it up and making it diva-like. Um, again, this is the Legend Planner. Um, and then I'm also going to put the link to where I got the tabs from in the description and I am going to get busy writing down plans and goals getting this commercial real estate off the ground and residential real estate as well but anyway guys I wanted to share my legend planner and the what I call accessories um, I wanted to share that with you guys but anyway I am so excited about my stickers I cannot wait to start putting them in Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching.